game one of the Western Conference Finals, the Golden State Warriors and the San Antonio Spurs. Jeff, the Spurs, if you rarely say this, they are heavy, heavy underdogs. Leonard with the ball, drives and finishes. And San Antonio up 14. Leonard drives, bustles his way inside and scores. Leonard gets away, drives inside and finishes again. About eight minutes left to go in the third quarter. Kawhi goes out of the game. Yeah, that opportunity to walk up Andre, he took away that space. I think the NBA's got to go back and look at this because look, a guy has to have space to come down. Three pointer, puts it in. Curry on the drive, bounces around and drops through. Durant drives inside and finishes. 46 to 22 was the run that was gone on from them. San Antonio couldn't get anything done. If I'm the Spurs, when you don't have your star, that's a big concern. As a teammate, the atmosphere that they have with the Spurs and their team chemistry, what it's been for so long, for him to not be a game. That's yeah. why Pop will punish him for that. I'll be surprised if he returns this season. This year, they have not been as dominant as they have been in the past three or four seasons. Your legs are not hurting that bad. Not good for the coach. You can sit right there and, and stand up and clap for your teammates. Hold up. Is he holding that knee? I Tony mean, Parker, he's not moving here. San Antonio calls a full time out of the floor. Same kind of injury. Uh, my mind was a hundred times worse. It starts to make us think about how severe this Kawhi Leonard injury is. Super reporters are reporting that Kawhi Leonard, he wants out. He wants out of San Antonio. He didn't like what was going on and how they handled his injury in San Antonio, and um, he wants to go. Well, as you all know, that's why you're here. Uh, the trade has been made. Kawhi and Danny are moving on to Toronto, and Marge Rosen and Jakob Pertl are coming to San Antonio. You're taking a chance on a guy who has told you very specifically that he did not want to be traded to Toronto. Can you keep Kawhi Leonard in Toronto? You're getting a, a, arguably one of the top five talents in the NBA. When you look at that roster, you say, wow, this Eastern Conference could be wide open. Maybe this team could get back to the top again. Hopefully this can elevate us uh, as much as we want. You know, when LeBron James leaving the East, then they feel like a favorite to come out of the East. But in my estimation, Kawhi Leonard is the best defender in basketball. I mean, that guy is incredible. And if you ask the superstars in our league, they may not say it publicly, but I guarantee you none of them like being guarded by Kawhi Leonard. He, he is that much of an impact on the game. Kawhi, oh, 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 oh. left hand and slam. He says enough. Oh, my. Oh, wow. I, I don't care where you put it. I just feel like he's going to do what Kawhi does. He has to go and impose Kawhi Leonard to every team. I don't sense any fear. Like, he doesn't back down. Oh, oh, my goodness. You know, you could do it on both ends of the floor, and it's everybody. It's not just me. If they make a run to the Eastern Conference Finals, or even the NBA Finals, Kawhi really has to think twice about, do I really want to leave here? I know LA's real sunny, but uh, the Six has something for me. It's easy to forget how good Kawhi Leonard was. He was a Finals MVP as well. I mean, this is the reason why he was brought here. Everybody that questioned why the move happened or why a possible rental of a Kawhi Leonard, this is the reason why. Kawhi, heavy load for him, took over the basketball game. They did a nice job, Toronto, just grinding this one out. Really just trying to play as perfect as possible, just into spots early. When you look at his ability to score, he's as efficient as almost anybody else in terms of the top superstars in the league. He's a player of, of a caliber that can get you over the hump, and that's exactly what happened. We got a really good player that's going to get us baskets when we need them. Uh, if they do get to the NBA Finals, it would be silly for me to say that the Raptors have no chance to re-sign Kawhi Leonard. It's off to Leonard, defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? Is Giannis the new LeBron in the East? Giannis is on his way. I think for the Toronto Raptors, Coach, it has to come down to they just got to compete. Well, the bench has been basically destroyed by Milwaukee's bench. But you don't want to go down 3-0.
just want to win. I don't, I don't care about being the best player. I want to be the best team. I always said that. When you look at Giannis, when you look at Kawhi, the difference is the shot-making ability of Kawhi Leonard and what that opens up. Think about the gamble that Masai Ujiri took. Looks like it's played out pretty well. Toronto Raptors, who will be the first team to host an NBA Finals outside the United States. Your thoughts on the upcoming challenge that the defending champion Warriors will present? Like you just said, they're the champions. Uh, so we got to go in, have a mental focus, and uh, you know, enjoy the moment and take the challenge. Congratulations, Kawhi, go celebrate. They got hard and they ready to go. Kawhi has led them somewhere they would have never been before. They have a great chance to win this series. It's turning out well now. I mean, we're in the finals and we're not done yet. Man, you got to step up. This is the time you got to step up.